Hey guys, it's Penros. Today I'll be showing you some new Star Wars sets that were revealed. They will be releasing August 1st. First is set 75388 Jedi Bob's Starfighter from the Rebuild the Galaxy Lego film. It comes with three figures and will be retailing for $40 US. The characters are Jedi Bob, an Akbar Trooper, and a gonk droid named SRVO, aka Servo. The main draw to this set is obviously going to be Jedi Bob, because we haven't seen this figure since 2002. And since this character is so old, they actually made the torso and face print look a little worn down, which is a nice little added detail. The set itself is a red and white Jedi Starfighter, which I feel like is reminiscent of Obi-Wan Starfighter that we got recently, and Anakin's custom Jedi Starfighter from 2015. The ship also has a little compartment on the front to store a banana and a milk carton, so I don't know if that's his lunch or just some garbage. I guess we'll find out in the movie. Next is set 75393, the TIE Fighter and X-Wing mashup. It comes with five minifigures and will be retailing for $110 US. The characters are Yessi Scala, Sig Griebling, a Rebel Pilot, L3GO, and a TIE Pilot. Hopefully I pronounced those names correctly. So here we have some new characters from this movie. My personal favorite out of these being the droid with his name basically being Lego. In this set, the main idea is that you can swap the wings of the X-Wing and TIE Fighter. Nothing too crazy. It's a pretty fun idea, but I'm actually surprised they haven't done it sooner. But I think it fits well with the movie. Next is set 75389, the Dark Falcon. It comes with six minifigs and will be retailing for $180 US. The characters are Beach Luke Skywalker, Jedi Vader slash Redeemed Vader, Bounty Hunter C-3PO, Darth Dev, Darth Jar Jar, and Darth Rey. As you can see, there are a bunch of new characters for this Rebuild the Galaxy movie, but the most surprising ones to me in this set are the Redeemed Vader, because it's weird seeing Vader in white, and finally having Darth Jar Jar in physical form. The set itself is pretty much what you'd expect. It's a dark side Millennium Falcon in black with some red highlights, and it has a Death Star laser on top. And this is the last set from the Rebuild the Galaxy movie. Next is set 75396, the Desert Skiff and Sarlacc Pit. It comes with six minifigs and will be retailing for $80 US. The characters are Boba Fett, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Chewbacca, and a disguised Lando Calrissian. It also comes with an exclusive 9 num minifigure for the 25th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars. There's just some slight updates to these characters, like with Luke's hair and robes, Han's torso print, and Lando's entire outfit being updated. Boba Fett seems to be the same version we got from the mech a little while ago, still not including the shoulder cape. We haven't seen this set since 2017, so it's nice to get a remake. They're also probably making this because of the rumored UCS Java sail barge, which will pair nicely with it. Next is set 75392, the Creative Play Droid Builder. This comes with one exclusive minifigure and will be retailing for $100 US. The exclusive minifigure included is young Princess Leia from the Kenobi TV series with her droid Lola. This set comes with four buildable droids, R2-D2, Chopper, QTKT, and R5-J2. Not only can the heads and legs of the droids be swapped with any of the others, but there's also an assortment of accessories you can add to them, like hats, glasses, a mustache, and more. Next is set 75394, the Imperial Star Destroyer. It comes with seven minifigs and will be retailing for $160 US. The characters are Darth Vader, Commander Praji, an Imperial Gunner, an Imperial Navy Trooper, a Stormtrooper, and Cal Kestis as the 25th anniversary figure. The set itself is the Star Destroyer. 
This is a slightly scaled down version of the 2014 one, and it's $30 more. This set comes with a handle in the middle to make it easier to move, and it has a functional interior. It's just a little bit small on the inside. Next is set 75398, the buildable C3PO. It comes with one minifig and will be retailing for $140 US. The character included is the same C3PO we got from the UCS Luke's lane speeder, but that's not a bad thing. That's the best version of C3PO we've gotten, and now it's in another set, so maybe it'll be slightly easier to get him. Here's the set itself. It's a pretty accurate and detailed buildable C-3PO. And here it is next to the $100 R2-D2 from earlier this year, which had Darth Malgus. The size comparison is pretty good. Overall, the highlights here for me are the Jedi Bob Starfighter and the Dark Falcon. Some sets in this wave are a bit overpriced, but that's pretty much to be expected at this point. I just think some of the figures that I mentioned from those two sets would be super cool to get, and I'm glad they brought back some of these characters. But, that's the end of the video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this new Star Wars wave. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want, you can always unsubscribe later. See you in the next one.